All right, Pisces. Pisces people, let's see what's going on with Pisces and the person on their mind. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors. And lives for the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces and the person on their mind. So you guys got egg on their face, ashamed, backfired, got caught. Conflict resolution, compromising, making amends, and positive outcome. Damn. All right, Pisces. So whoever we're reading about today, uh, you got toxic love and toxic people. So drama, addictions, love-hate relationship, addictions, bad advice, and wrong crowd. Keep in mind that the, not every message is going to be for you. Leave it for who it does, for who it is, okay? Somebody here could have got caught or someone here could have done something, got caught red-handed or some something could have backfired on someone. You got toxic love, toxic people. So someone here may have um, some type of addictions or there could be people around someone or even around you who could be stirring up some type of drama, giving bad advice. Um, again, you got, this is crazy. Like this deck, I don't know. You got broken mirrors. That's the name of this deck. Addictions, roller coaster, and toxic connection. So I just picked up on someone that Pisces has a toxic ass connection with, like super toxic. And the way that this looks to me, conflict resolution, this woman is like, and man or woman, flip the roles, okay? Someone here is very focused, possibly looking over paperwork or doing something, and someone is like pointing a pencil in their face. That's how you get smacked, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, somebody's like, I don't know, someone here is like, all of, like, I feel like someone here gets on someone's fucking nerves. <laughs> this is like a love-hate relationship. It's like, ugh, I can't stand you. Get on my nerves. I don't know what someone got caught doing, but someone here just has some type of negativity around the connection here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is for sure a roller coaster that I just picked up on, Pisces. All right, let's lighten the load. Let's use this Rebel deck. Uh, additional messages for the Piscean people or the Cross Watcher. Again, roles can be reversed. Cross Watcher, you could have a toxic ass connection with the Pisces. All right, not here to pick sides, but y'all know what part y'all play. And if you don't, you need to check yourself before you break yourself. <laughs> we got fuck. Shit is about to get real. This card, this deck does have, you know, cuss words in it. So, anyways, uh, we got F U C K. You need you need your people around you. So someone here may need their people around them, like people that they can count on, people that they can trust, people that they can confide in or whatever because something here is about to get messy um you got rebel because eff it someone here could be a rebel someone may just do shit just because i feel like someone here is ornery like irritating damn All right, you got don't effing force it. Allow that ish to come to you. You got make better effing choices. If you were pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. That's what I was saying. You better check yourself before you break yourself. <laughs> okay, so someone here needs to make some, someone here may need to make better choices. And if you are upset about where you are or where a connection is going, you may need to um, stop taking yourself there. Like I know that I've said this so many times on my channel, but those of you guys that are new here, my older brother, um, super, super Zen, 
you know, off the grid, peaceful, good person. But anyways, he had told me years ago, he had came to visit me and he was like, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And you know, I this person next Y and Z and, and you know, I went over to so-and-so. I'm not going to name off names, but I was just like, these were people like that was family members, people we were close to growing up, like people that were just in my inner circle because I thought they had to be and da, 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 da. And I was all worked up over, you know, some messed up things. And he's like, sis, look at how these people make you feel. If that's how they make you feel, why do you keep taking yourself there? And I was like, good point. I was like, I don't know, because I felt obligated to because I don't know why. Like, why did I keep doing that? This was years and years ago. But so slowly I detached myself from those energies. I was like, fuck it. You know, I don't have to deal with this behavior. I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to deal with you. And if this is how you're going to act, bye. <laughs> Anyways, and so, and I shit you not, my life became more peaceful. Um, and it allowed me to kind of, you know, navigate my own energy versus someone else dictating how my energy was navigating, you know, how my energy was navigating. Anyway, so if you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. If you got people who are being idiots and asshole, or moron, you know, people that give poor advice or they just bad influences at all or create drama in your life, stop taking yourself there. Someone here may also keep trying to like make amends or, okay, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Okay, I'm going to do better this time or this is going to be different or I'm going to be different. And then it's like... It's not. All right. So let's see what Pisces overall energy is, please. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed. So flip it, switch it according to your situation. Sometimes y'all just need to hear this. I mean, shit, I needed to at one point in my life. I ain't no different than y'all. I ain't perfect. Mm -mm. No, sir, no ma'am. But anyway, sometimes you just got to hear it from someone else. Like, damn. All right, so let's see. Pisces overall energy. Can I get an amen? <laughs> okay. Pisces overall energy. Ten of wands. Okay, Pisces. So here we are feeling stressed out, feeling way down, feeling burdened, carrying on some extra weight that ain't yours to carry. It's time to drop this shit, Pisces. It's time to... Let it go, let it go. Just know you're in control. And if you don't feel like you are, you better figure out a way to regain that control. All right, show me this person, this other person Pisces is connecting with or got up in the energy, the sun card in the reverse. So Leo energy, sun card in the reverse is somebody who's very pessimistic. Um, Sun in the reverse can even be someone who, I don't know, now I feel bad. Someone here could be like, you know, sun card in the reverse can talk about depression. It can talk about, um, this can also be someone who's very secretive or they hide a lot of things or they're just not transparent with shit. Okay. They lack optimism. Something's not growing. Something, you know... Maybe this person is someone who's not healing from something in their life. Something major with the sun card being a major arcana. And this shit could be, you know, like I said, you could be carrying someone else's weight. You're trying to carry someone else's weight when it's pulling you down. It's weighing you down. This is a minor arcana, Pisces. And again, the roles can be reversed. A cross watcher, this could be vice versa, too. But whoever's on this side, this is a minor arcana. So this is like you have control of this. Major arcanas is more universal. You know, it's bigger than it's bigger than something here. <clears throat> All right, show me Pisces emotions. There's too many. I'm like a whole stack. <laughs> That's funny though. King of Cups, Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. It's like you may be trying to, like I said, someone here could be trying to push forward eight of wands, like 
keep trying to make progress, but then it's like this hot and cold energy. Or you could even be hot and cold because of this situation. Love, hate, relationship, Queen of Swords, King of Cups. It's like, I love you, but I also can't stand you and want to cut you off and tell you about yourself so that I can move forward or cut this off so I can move forward. So, yeah, this is like a... Okay, let's see. All right, Pisces. Pisces emotions, please. What is Pisces emotions? The Eight of Pentacles. See what I was just saying? It's like someone here is trying to work. Someone here is trying to build. And it doesn't matter whether you're the feminine or the masculine in this reading. But I feel like someone here is kind of focused on their responsibilities, their tasks. The Ten of Wands can also be feeling weighed down. Oh, feeling weighed down by responsibilities, feeling weighed down by your workload, feeling overworked, under fucking appreciated. Okay. And you feel like someone here is like a nuisance or someone's getting on your nerves or someone's irritating the fuck out of you, trying to poke you in the ear hole while you're trying to study or you're trying to work or you're trying to build something. I don't know. You feel like someone's just like putting extra stress on you that you don't need. In your emotions, I feel like you're focused on working, maybe working on yourself, building a business, building a brand, um, doing something, doing some type of work, you know. Um, um, you could also be learning a new skill of some sort, but I do feel like something you have a lot that you're bearing or carrying. All right. Show me this person's emotions in this reading. The Ace of Cups. Hmm. So, Ace of Cups. Can I get one more? The Ace of Cups can be someone's cup overflowing. Someone has a lot of love. Somebody here... Let me one more. Eight of Swords. I don't know. Either this person feels like stuck in their thoughts or they just feel like restricted, but they want love or they have. Um... Give me one more for Pisces emotions when it comes to the situation. Let's be fur. See, again, seven of pentacles. It's like you're trying to, you're trying to like build something or you're investing in something. You're trying to manifest something. You're trying to materialize something. You're nurturing your garden so that it grows. You're focused on something. You're waiting for something and you're feeling weighed down and burdened and stressed out. And this person is like, I don't know. Like this person may love you, but they're also like stuck in some type of vict. This could be like stuck in some type of negative mentality. Or their own thoughts could be restricting them or they're very oppressive, depressing. Hmm. I don't know, this person may even just feel like, like I'm getting like a codependent energy here because this would be like somebody like stuck, <sighs> like almost feeling like this love is all that matters and it's almost like burdening somebody. Let me keep going. Trying to see, I feel like something's missing here. What what is the eight of swords spirit for their emotions? Like what is the eight of swords? Shit just got real. <laughs> what is the eight of swords, please? The knight of wands. Yeah, I don't know. It's like they could be stuck in like some type of impulsive or I 
it's almost like they're stuck because it's like they're stuck because it's like I desire this like I want this and I'm unhappy or I'm unhealed or I want a new beginning in love but I'm like stuck in this I want I want I want I desire hmm anyway show me Pisces how's this how is Pisces moving I already feel like the magician yeah it's like you're trying to create something here Pisces but the magician Virgo Gemini energy seven of pentacles eight of pentacles ten of wands it's like you feel you may have like a whole lot of shit on your plate a lot of responsibilities a lot of things that you're working on a lot of things that you're trying to create or manifest for yourself and it's almost like this person is just being like i don't know if it's needy or impulsive or they're you know mentally stuck in their own mental prison or they feel stuck they're trying to go after something but from an unhealed space or they're being like i don't know unrealistic expectations as well with the sun in the reverse this is like someone that's trying to place something on you like i love you so uh it's almost like trying to trying to i don't know that shit's fucking weird but show me how this person's moving I love you when that's over. Don't you dang open my dress. Okay. Um, how is this person moving, Holy Spirit? Tower in the reverse. Scorpio energy. So the tower in the reverse is resisting some type of change. Um, trying to avoid an ending. Trying to um, avert some type of disaster. Resisting some type of change or... Yeah, show me what Pisces' intentions are with this person. Oh, yeah, the chariot. I don't know. I didn't mean to say with this person. I just mean what is Pisces' intentions in this situation? So the chariot, Cancerian energy, Pisces. The chariot is determination, it's willpower, it's drive. So I feel like you're very determined to get something you're very determined to move forward. Um, some of you too could be feeling like you're playing along like in some type of game. What is this, a simulator? Hmm. The chariot is also overcoming obstacles and challenges. So you feel like there's something here that you need to overcome, but it's also challenging, but you have some type of drive or willpower, especially with the magician in the chariot. Um, I just did a, another reading before this. Go check it out. Um, and I kind of seen that energy show up in that reading as well. I think the magician in the chariot actually came out in like the beginning of the reading um, in a totally different deck. So... This reading may resonate with you and that other reading may resonate with you in a different way. So check that out. Oh, yeah, it probably would, because I remember the end of the reading was someone trying to like someone in a low vibrational energy trying to bring the other one down while the other one is trying to like uh, lift themselves up and someone is seeing something. And we had the death in reverse in that reading and now you got the tower in reverse. So who? Am yeah, y'all. That's so crazy how these readings be doing that sometimes. Okay, show me what this person's intentions are. The Five of Swords, too, can talk about surrendering, you know. Um, so you may be feeling challenged to surrender this situation. You may feel like there's something here that you are trying to create and some type of obstacle that you're trying to overcome. 
And with the Five of Swords, this is like, I don't know, that's a strong ass determination because the Five of Swords can talk about winning at all costs. But with the Chariot being here, the Chariot is typically positive movement forward, unless it's in the reverse, that can talk about like, um, like aggression or forcefulness or lack of direction, coercion. So I don't know. I feel like you're trying to push past something. Like it's almost like someone, like whoever's on this side is trying, like trying not to let an energy slow them down or stop them, but feeling like they may need to play uh maybe dirty i'm i don't necessarily see it here but like i'll do what i have to do to overcome something like you're not going to stop me type energy magician in the chariot show me this person's intentions please what is this person's intentions in this situation Wow, Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Damn, Daniel. <sighs> so this person literally wants a new opportunity. They want a fresh start. They want a new opportunity. They don't want this to end. They don't want... They're resisting some type of... Yeah, it's almost like this person is stuck on you. Shit, Pisces. <laughs> What did you do to this person? <laughs> okay. Stuck on you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Tower of the Reverse, Sun Reverse. It's like this person is not feeling the greatest. They are definitely in their thoughts, in their head, wanting to have a new beginning, wanting da 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 da. Like, yo, Pisces. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hey, Pisces. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Show me the outcome between these two for the next 10 days. The Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Shit. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, are these going to be temperance? The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. Two of Pentacles on the bottom. I feel like you're trying to make the right choice here. Someone is trying to make the right choice for, for long-term ten, ten of Pentacles, Two of Wands. And someone here could be going back and forth, like trying to weigh the pros and the cons or kind of going back and forth. Like, do I heal this connection? Do I cut this shit out? Do I cut this shit off? Like someone is doing a lot of thinking about which decision they want to make for the long-term Someone is definitely trying to protect themselves, guard themselves, defend themselves in some type of way with the Seven of Wands under that. Uh, for some of y'all, Seven of Swords with egg on their face, ashamed, got caught, backfired. Someone here may have, like, you may not trust somebody. This may stress you out. This may cause you, like, a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. You may want to hold back the overall energy and the outcome is four pentacles. It's like holding back kind of being greedy with your time your energy your resources some of you guys could be trying to save up for something and this person's coming at you trying to heal something like wanting to communicate with the knight of wands and the knight of swords being in their energy i mean you got two knights here so this person could be younger maybe or you have the magician and the chariot for You know, so I feel like you are in this, 
very powerful manifesting. It's like you have the skills, the tools, the talents, the willpower, the drive to totally let this shit go. Five of Swords, like, fuck this shit. I surrender. This causes me stress. I feel like I got to be strategic. I feel like I got to be on my damn toes or look it over my damn shoulder all the time. I feel like I got to be looking over my shoulder. Some of you guys just don't, you know, and this person's coming at you. Temperance, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini energy. This person's coming at you like wanting to balance something out, wanting to heal something, wanting a new beginning. But the overall energy is like somebody kind of just holding back. Not necessarily giving to a situation, but also not really letting it go. So show me the Seven of Swords. Now be sure to hit that lag button up in here. Let me know what side of this you're on. The Five of Cups. Okay, so Seven of Swords, Five of Cups. And the chariot in the reverse. Jeez Louise. So, Seven of Swords. Some of you guys may even feel like you'd be lying to yourself. Like you would regret something. Or somebody here could also regret lying to you. Chariot in the reverse. We just talked about that. That is like that forceful type energy or lacking direction. Um something feeling out of control someone here could even regret doing something or losing control in a situation if that resonates with someone others of you guys you may feel like you don't have any control over this situation or you would lose control and regret something like you would be deceiving or deceptive. Someone here can be ashamed of some type of forceful behavior, lies. Anyways, okay, let's move on. Show me Nine of Swords. The King of Cups in the reverse. Jeez. So, someone here may feel like you don't love me, you know, or you may not have any emotions for this, Pisces. You may feel like this situation stresses you out. You may feel like someone here is emotionally immature, emotionally unavailable emotionally manipulative some like there's anxiety surrounding someone's emotional maturity like working with someone who you know lacks emotional maturity someone who's emotionally manipulative stresses you out or you may be trying to work on something and you're not really open to something emotionally and this is giving you anxiousness Show me the four of pentacles, the six of pentacles. Like I said, you're holding back from giving to this situation or, you know, you may feel like someone here breadcrumbs you or you're holding back because someone is giving to another, but I don't necessarily see that. I just feel like you're holding back from necessarily giving to this situation and you're emotionally distancing yourself or someone else's. And I don't feel like it's this person. So Pisces, um... And again, the roles can be reversed, whatever. But I feel like you want equal give and take. And you could feel like someone else is greedy. For others of you guys, this is just a situation that you're kind of emotionally distancing yourself from and going into the unknown. And you're not really giving to this. You're trying to work on something and build something. 
and you feel like there's emotional manipulation here that causes you stress and anxiety. You feel like um, some of you too could feel like, oh man, I regret. I kind of lost control of something, but how you're in, wait, hold on. Yeah, but your intentions here is like regaining control. Some of you two could even regret allowing something to go on in a certain way. Show me the Knight of Swords. the five of pentacles so someone is like this other person is feeling abandoned or they're feeling out in the cold someone here could even be going through some type of legal financial problems or health problems or I don't know, for some, this person could even feel like, okay, it's fair and just, or leaving, it's, okay, let me finish my thought. It's fair and just leaving, being left out in the cold, but they're not happy about it. They're angry about it. They want to say something. They want to say, yeah, they want to say something. Um, others of you guys may feel like it is fair and just to leave this situation out in the cold, and you've already made your decision because you want peace at the end of the day. You want to heal. You want to be grounded. Some of you too could have an angel around you protecting you or a guide. Like something here is fair and just. Five of Pentacles. Someone here could also be feeling uh, like having some type of financial uh, changes or circumstances due to a legal decision. Being made, you know, fair. Show me temperance. Why is temperance here in the outcome? Four wands. Someone's home is protected. Stability is protected. Nine of pentacles or someone's trying to protect their stability and be practical and be consistent on whatever it is that they're working on or they are trying to come. Someone else could be trying to come in with consistency or a proposal or an offer for some type of reunion, celebration, healing as well a new beginning ace of wands on the bottom high priestess yeah someone here wants a new beginning someone wants to work on something hmm mm, Jesus deck Sorry for the blowers, y'all. Here they come again. Okay. So let's do, let's get three cards. We'll close this reading out since I got a yell over these people. Oh my gosh, that's probably so loud. Let me just pause it. Okay, so they're gone. So I went ahead and pulled them while they were being obnoxious. So you guys got keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional string along in one night stand. So I don't know. Some of you guys feel like this person has strung you along or you feel like they just want a one night stand. They want to rush towards you. Maybe even love bomb you here with this ace of cups, eight of swords in order to like trap you. Damn, I didn't even see that before. 
Um, and again, you have don't freak, don't freaking force it. Allow that ish to come to you. So I don't know if that's a message for whomever this person is because the Knight of Wands, like I said, it's almost like this forceful energy that you are trying to protect what it is that you have. Like you're holding on to something here, Pisces. Or you're holding back from giving to this person and you're trying to disconnect from them emotionally here. Um, you got camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past and make memories. So some of you guys are, you've, you know, you've learned from some type of a past situation here. And um, keepsake, memories. So it's like, okay. I'll hold on to the memories that we shared, but I've also learned from past choices or decisions. So, and then you had the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, adapt, change, and heal. So some of you guys are, and then you had ascending. So um, be lighthearted. Some of you guys could find out some things or, you know, you may need to adapt to some, you know, changes and heal. Okay, you got ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So some of you guys are just try trying to overcome some type of obstacles here. <sighs> or that's your goal with the magician and the chariot. And I talked about that in the other reading too. Um, or you're wanting to liberate yourself, free yourself, okay, from whatever's weighing you down with the balloons. Okay. And ten of Wands, like I feel like this situation is heavy or it's burdensome, or you know, there's been too many, too many things. I also feel like you're trying to be strategic and not like make choices that you regret that cause you blockages and delays. So some of you guys could have felt like your forward movement has being is being stagnated in some type of way. And you may, you know, kind of feel feel a little bit of sadness or feel like, you know, yeah, this sucks. This was a loss, but Seven of Swords, it's like, I don't trust myself or I always got to be looking over my shoulder. I'm stressed out or this causes me to be emotionally unstable and I'm trying to work through that shit. Okay, I'm trying to work through my own damn fears from being lied to, cheated on, deceived or taken for granted emotionally or whatever, being emotionally manipulated. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope this helps someone out there. If it did, let me know. Um... Good luck to whoever you guys are. Blessings, I should say. I don't know if I believe too much in luck. But um, yeah, let me know how this resonated with y'all. Be sure to hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.